Hey friends, Wes here checking in with a vinyl inbox update. I visited the Gainesville, Alachua County Friends of the Library book sale once again. Uh, the book sale that happens twice a year here in town. Great sale. I uh, love always getting uh, some interesting finds there. I did not get in line and go early in the morning this time. Didn't feel up for it, you know, that you get you get there at nine o'clock in the morning and the line goes all the way around the block and then it's a mad dash to, to get to whatever it is you want, you're interested in and uh, the records just keep getting more and more crowded and people are jumping over each other to get to the, get into the bins and it, it just uh, becomes pretty stressful. So I decided to sit that out this year. So I went later in the afternoon Still found a pretty good stack of stuff here, so let's go ahead and get into it and talk about what I found. First thing we have here is the soundtrack to Breakin'. 84, classic movie, classic soundtrack. Uh, I believe I already have one of these in the inbox, but this one was too nice to pass up, and it was 75 cents, so I had to grab that. Next up, another classic soundtrack. This is the soundtrack to An American Tale. A, a very well-loved movie from my childhood, so uh, pick that up. That was a dollar fifty. Next up, we have an EP from Trio. They did that song "Da Da Da Da" that was used in the uh, Volkswagen commercial in the '90s. Didn't really know much about this band beyond that song, and so I uh, thought I'd go ahead and grab this and, and see what it's all about. Some fun sort of German German pop music. So uh, that was a dollar. Uh, we have the soundtrack to Blade Runner done by the New American Orchestra. So this this is the orchestra reworking the Vangelis soundtrack that apparently was never actually released until recently. So, not the soundtrack, but the score, the film score, was not released until recently. Anyway, so I thought I would grab this. It was 50 cents, so let's see, see if this is anything or not. Cool looking piece of vinyl in good shape. Uh, here's a really awesome one, something I've been wanting to get. This is uh, the Walter Carlar Carlos's uh, soundtrack to The Clockwork Orange. This is, well, this is actually the score to The Clockwork Orange, I should say. Uh, very little of this music actually made it to the soundtrack, so uh, the score is just all of the electronic uh, work that uh, Walter or Wendy Carlos uh, made for the movie Clockwork Orange, and uh, this is definitely something I wanted to have, so glad I got that. 75 cents on that one. Next one, we got a John McLaughlin album, Mahavishnu John McLaughlin. This is My Goals Beyond. A date on this one. There we go. Always love hearing John McLaughlin, and this was $1.75, so it looks like a nice piece to have. Uh, here's one. I've been looking for the marbled copy of this forever and just never seem to find it, or when I do find it, it's $20 or more. Uh, this is Dave Mason's Alone Together, uh, but apparently this album is, not only is it cool, the colored original pressing is cool, but the album itself is pretty good, so I thought I would grab, uh, this is just a black vinyl copy of it, and uh, just give it a spin and see what it's all about. It is on the Blue Thumb label, so that's pretty neat. Alright, next up we have Redbone's Potlatch. Still do not have a date on this one. Uh, but Redbone was a, a Mexican and Native American group, rock group in the 70s. And, uh, all right, next up we have another soundtrack. This is the soundtrack, uh, This the Redbone was two bucks. Next up we have the soundtrack to When the Wind Blows, a movie I'm not familiar with, uh, but it has uh, Roger Waters, David Bowie, Genesis, Squeeze, Paul Hardcastle, a bunch of cool names on here. Uh, Roger Waters did the soundtrack, or the score to the movie, I guess, because the, all the second side is Roger Waters, you know, sort of instrumental kinds of music, and it looks like sort of like an animated music, uh, animated soundtrack, uh, maybe like a, almost has a sort of a Miyazaki style to it. So uh, I have to look in to see what this movie is about, but got the soundtrack, that was, that was two dollars as well. Next up we have a John Lennon album that I did not have, this is Rock and Roll. 1975. This was $3. Definitely a classic and glad to, glad to uh, have the chance to own this one. Another John McLaughlin album. This is Extrapolation from 1972. So this is, I guess it's a little bit before they did the whole Mahavishnu thing. Should be pretty good. 
That was dollar seventy-five. Uh, I got an EP from Thomas Dolby, Blinded by Science. Uh, that's four other tracks on here. One of our submarines, Wind Power, Airwaves, and Flying North. Don't know if these are EP or only tracks, uh, but always like hearing uh, Tom Dolby, so we'll be checking that one out. I think that's a buck. All right, next we got a 12-inch single from Frankie Goes to Hollywood. This is Rage Hard. Dollar twenty-five on this one, uh, 1986 on Island Records. Nice looking 12-inch there. Next thing we have here is Blue Oyster Cult's debut album, one I do already have in the collection. I love this album, and I've been looking for an upgrade copy, and I think this is the upgrade copy for me. It's really nice and clean looking. Hopefully, it will sound good. Uh, this one has the Cities on Flame with rock and roll song. Uh, just a really cool album from Blue Oyster Cult, and I, I do enjoy this one. Uh, next up is an album I hadn't seen before from an artist I know well, and that's Donovan. This is Cosmic um, Cosmic Wheels. And it's on the uh, Abco record label. It's very cool in inner uh, sleeve artwork here. The inner sleeve and everything. Uh, just really neat looking. Uh, $1.75 for a Donovan album and hadn't heard of it. So, um, I don't know, maybe this is kind of spacey kind of stuff a little bit. That would be cool. Alright, next up another album from Redbone. This is Message from a Drum. $1.25 on this one. Again, no year. This one has a gatefold. Uh, it's another addition to the Christmas music collection as well as the electronic music collection. This is Switched on Santa, Psy Man on the Moog synthesizer. So you got Christmas standards, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Jingle Bells, White Christmas, Joy to the World, you know, all those classic songs done on Amog. And this one is still sealed, and it was $1.25. So that's cool. I've seen other people show this one before and uh, always kind of was curious about it, and now I have one for my own to listen to. I've uh, been seeing Derek dig into the library music a bunch recently, and I found a piece of library music of my own that I think I'll really enjoy. This is Oscillations 1, 2, 3, and 4 by Don Vogeli. Vogeli. Uh, these are just electronic library music that uh, would be used in you know, TV shows and radio shows as bumpers, background music, kind of stuff like that. Uh, but this is this is uh, should be pretty electronic uh, from 1972 to 1975 is when these were originally made. They were originally released, you know, just as single LPs, and uh, they were so popular that they got re-released in this box set. So there's four LPs here of of uh, library music, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm excited to to dig into this and and see what I can find. Who knows, maybe I can use some of this music on the, on the YouTube channel here and not get a uh, copyright infringement. Uh, next up we have an album from Lee Michaels. This is Barrel. Don't know a whole lot about Lee Michaels. Just know he's sort of a 70s uh, pop rocker kind of guy, light rock. Uh, just like the, the artwork in this one and uh, thought I'd give it a try and that was uh, 75 cents. Next up we have an album from Gordon Lightfoot. This is Sit Down Young Stranger, which would later be titled If You Could Read My Mind once it once that song was a hit. Uh, so all the early pressings of this say Sit Down Young Stranger on the title, but uh, later pressings will say If You Could Read My Mind. Uh, but that was a, a nice pickup for a buck. Uh, I do already have this in the collection, but I uh, just wanted to grab it just in case I needed an extra copy for something or my copy is not not as good as this or whatever, so I thought I'd grab that. Alright, next up we got another addition to the Harry Belafonte collection. This is uh, Harry Belafonte and Nana Muscuri, an, e an evening with uh, Belafonte and Muscuri. Uh, they're doing uh, Greek, uh, traditional Greek folk songs. Very nice looking copy of this. And that was uh, 75 cents. Alright, next thing we have here, another upgrade copy. This is an upgrade to my copy of Arlo Guthrie's Running Down the Road. This one has coming into LA. And Oklahoma Hills is pretty well known as well. Uh, really great album from him. I like this album a lot. As I said, this is an upgrade copy for me. Mine's uh, pretty beat up as far as the jacket and everything goes. So thought I would grab that. That was a dollar. And last but not least, we have a live album from Stomu Yamashita's Go. This is uh, live from Paris. 
uh, Stony Mashta, Steve Winwood, Klaus Schultz, Michael Shreve, and Al Di Miola. Very fusion-y, electronic, jazz, uh, just cool, cool sound and stuff. I, I really did enjoy, I've already spun one, one disc of this and really enjoyed it a lot. Um, from, uh, recorded in 12th of June, 1976. So that was my, the, my haul from the uh, library sale, even though I did go later in the day. It was a, an enjoyable sale, so I uh, hope you enjoyed these finds. Stay tuned for lots more. Please subscribe if you're not already. Leave me some comments, and thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Cheers.